Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Now you know I was gonna do it because I know that's annoying for some people, and I love it. Yes, I'm back. Happy New Year. Yes, you're here with Grace Levi coming in differently, different, differently different this new year. Yes, I'm excited. I hope I just wanted to highlight that. Okay, we're gonna keep our eye on um Jay-Z and Beyonce because we do have some, I believe, allegations that's gonna come out one day. You know, I'm a psychic, y'all. Watch. I'm keeping my eye on it. Now, let's move on to this. We're still on celebrity topics. Did y'all know game? Because everybody's always talking about um, Tasha K lawsuit. Tasha K, you need to pay Carter B. Tasha K, you need to pay. Look, let's talk about game. Let's talk about game. Game need to pay his accuser. What, 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 what is going on? Let's put him on the screen. Now, in this particular lawsuit that was filed years ago, this young lady is still seeking her $7 million judgment. Why nobody yelling saying, pay her $7 million, okay? $7 million. The game accuser victorious and lawsuit accuser rapper for creating shell companies to avoid paying $7 million judgment. Many institutions do this. I talk about that on um, segments um, that I highlight of uh, secure your energy and primetime home buyers you know we got that section over you know i gotta shout it out because i don't really be paying that commercial in the middle of my trending topics but i do pay it in the end but things like this you need to understand how the rich get richer and how they hide their money and that's why i, I teach you how to secure your energy with things like this and he was trying to secure his energy by transferring his asset into another entity that will not have nothing to do with the current lawsuit but if a person knows how to use the system the right way, they may can put pressure on someone's neck. And this young lady was able to use the system to her benefit because she moved accordingly, okay? Rap of the game, assault accuser, accuser Miss Ranny, scored big in court as part of her efforts to collect on millions he owed her. The game was ordered to pay Ranny $7 million as part of the lawsuit she bought that accused him of assault during the film of VH1 dating show. She claimed the musician was high during the incident. For years, Randy has been in and out of court trying to figure out how to get her money. Nobody's, nobody's saying tell her to get her money, but God be the glory. Look at her. Mm -hmm. The game publicly scoffed at the judgment. You know, he make posts and all that stuff, you know, showing his money and everything. Randy previously um, convinced, convict convinced, I do apologize, a judge to allow her to seize game royalty and certain business profits. In 2001, Randy filed a new lawsuit against game, his manager, WAC 100, and various companies. The lawsuit accused the game and his manager of creating shell companies to move the money around to make it harder for her to seize her money. In the complaint, Randy said she had only collected $500,000 of the $7 million old. She accused Game of having transferred ownership of his companies to his manager. In, in addition, she claimed the Game transferred ownership of his home to WAC 100 with the rights to his trademark. Okay? Randy said the home is in question was purchased by a game in 2017 using the company name JTT Holdings on the deed. 
The suit of the game um, res resigned at JTT Holdings manager and transferred JTT Holdings to WAC 100. JTT Holdings transferred the deed to WAC solely according to the lawsuit. Okay, Ranny said the transfer prevent her from being able to go after the property that the game still lived in. Ranny said the property is worth estimated two point eight million dollars. That's half of what she owes. She said, just give me the house. You'll be halfway there. Randy argued JTT Holdings should be found liable of the $7 million owned by the company since believed the game was using it as a shell company. Her lawsuit asked that the property be sold off in an injunction against the game and whack for selling off and other properties until the judgment is satisfied. She going for blood. Now, I would say somebody else can do this as well if this was particularly happening. If the person was not trying to pay you, setting up payment plans, you know, trying to be honorable. I'm giving a hint to somebody, Miss Cardi B, because you stay spending your money on Tasha K trying to get her. But at the end of the day, um, if the person is trying to be honorable and pay, this won't work. Now, this is work because you can tell this is this is basically, um, how can I say, it is, it's kind of a, a, a form of trust fraud. People use trust accounts and other entities to transfer their money, have different tax liabilities and such. So in this particular situation, I'm going to move forward, but I'm going to give, just to say something, it ain't advice, but what I will say, if his particular manager can say that that particular home was transferred back to the company because um, the game owed money and it was part of debt and that was part of the contractual agreement because you know them because it's slaves. You already know. I'm throwing some stuff out there. You see how insensitive talk? Think? I can't help it. If they can prove that they had some type of debt and that was part of a payment plan. She may not be get, able to get that home, okay? It's all about paperwork and showing validity, oh girl. But the um, opening shell companies and things like that is getting real old to lawyers and um, and, and judges. So they're, they're moving on it, you know? So that's some of the things that we talk about with Secure, secure Your Energy, Primetime Home Buying. You know I'm a geek on a low. Did you know? I'm into real estate. From the backhand side. I don't do loans. I'm not trying to owe nobody. I, I hate it. <laughs>